back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys um how to make this box pleated dress and for that i'm going to be using this uh, fabric here and the uh, scissors and tape so first thing i'm going to do is this this is for a child for um it's for a mini bride it's a very simple style just a box pleated with a high neckline in front and then a little v at the back so i'm just going to show you guys so first thing i'm going to do is to cut the bottom of the dress so the bottom of the dress is going to be about the full length is so guys i'm going to cut the bottom now and to cut the bottom all i have to do is to subtract the top part from the full length of the dress and the top part is going to be around 9.5 and we're going to subtract it from 24 so what I have left is around 14.5. So I'm going to add uh, like additional 1.5 or 2 inches to it. That's for the top part and then also for folding the end. So for that, I'll have around, let's say, uh, around 16.5. I'm, I'm marking this at the wrong side of the fabric because I don't want to mess up the, the right side of this fabric. So this is the line that I've made here. I'm going to cut it now. So that's basically it for the. Uh... So guys, now I'm going to cut the front part of the upper body. So for that, the shoulder to the waist measurement is is nine point five. So nine point five plus extra one inch is ten point five. So I'm going to mark my line here, and then the next thing I'm going to do is to. Um, this is going to be where the shoulder will fall in so on this line now I'm going to mark the shoulder the shoulder I'm working with is 10.5 so I'm going to subtract about about one let's say one inch from it so that will leave me with since it's going to be sleeveless I want to subtract some so that it doesn't the sleeve doesn't fall here it falls inside of the shoulder so I'm going to have about so that will leave me with around 4.25. Uh, so I'm going to come down here and mark the armhole. So the armhole I'm working with is 12.5. Uh, 12 so by 2, that will give me around uh, 6.25. So I'm going to come down here and then mark this way. And then the bust measurement is around... Uh, 20 20 divided by 4 so that's 5 i'm giving it like extra uh half an inch for ease because it's a child i don't want it too tight on on her so i'm going to give it a extra half an inch and then one inch for my seam allowance so i'm going to mark that here and the waist is the same measurement as the bust so i'm just going to go down this way so after that i'm going to give it the mark here and then the neckline i'm going to mark about two inches here the neckline is not supposed to be low so i'm going to make it around two by 2.5 so i'm going to come down by 2.5 here and then mark it this way and then i'm going to come down on this line about seven zero point uh, seven five mark it here not up to one inch and then connect it to this here So now I'm going to cut this out. And with this panel that I have, I'm going to also cut the front panel here. So now I'm going to cut out the, the back. And to cut out the back, I just need to give it about one inch at the center back. And then I'm going to trace it out. So from here now so this would be my the back here so let me just pull it so i don't make a mistake so from here i'm just going to trace out the same panel i have here so guys for the back neckline i'm going to put my tape at this point here where the front and the back starts here i'm going to put it here and the measurement i got is around six so Remember I said I'm going to give it a V at the back. So the V is about 6 inches. So it's going to start here. So I'm going to mark it now. 
cut it out because normally your neckline would have been something like this at the back right let's say it's this way your neckline would have been something like this at the back right and then you cut out this but i'm making it like a v at the back so i'm going to open up the zip allowance that's why it has this one inch here this is the front this is the back the one inch here is for the zip allowance so cut it out so now this is what i'm left with i have this piece here my two back panels the two back panels so this will be at the back and then this will be my front panel here so you see so guys this is what the the top part is looking like right now i cut another piece of this same fabric um, and then use it as the bias on the inside. I already have a video on my channel on how to put in a, a bias um, Sorry a facing is what I want to say. So uh, that's what I used for this I just cut exactly the same piece as the main uh, Pattern and then just made it a little smaller and then used it here. You find the video on my channel. So this is what I did for the um top part so now i'm going to show you how i'm going to do the box with i've already also explained how to do the pleating but i'm just going to run through it now and show you guys so first the waist i'm working with is 20 so this is um the, the piece i'm going to be using i already folded the end here so basically how i do my box split is just you fold one this way so this is the right side of the fabric and then once you fold it this way I'm going to be using a pin so fold it down I don't use tape I just eyeball it because sometimes when you when you are done you might have extra left and then you have to go back and readjust it so so you fold it in so basically how you do it is let's say one is facing this way the other one is facing this way so now the next one is going to be facing the opposite direction so this way right where i often pay the most attention to is this um the the square facing out not really the one going underneath like here i just focus on the one that is out here for people to see because it would be bad if this one is bigger and then the next one is smaller and then the next square is bigger as in bigger meaning wider so i'm going to fold the next one facing this direction and then the next one facing the opposite direction and as you can see if you look at it you will notice that it's actually uh equal maybe not like you see so that's how you do it. Now the next one is going to face this way. The next one is going to face the opposite direction. The next one is going to face this way. The next one is going to face the opposite direction. Just like that until the end. So guys, now that I'm done with this, the next thing I have to do is to take the top part, open it up this way, and then put it in here. So I'm going to go and sew this down this way so that when I sew it down, when I open it up, it will look something like this. So I'm going to do that. So guys, this is what the dress is looking like right now. So the next thing I have to do is to put in the belt. As you can see on the picture, you know that uh, it has a belt on the waist. So I'm going to be using this for the, this is about three inches by width and it's supposed to be around 22 inches by length. So I'm going to be using the two of them. So what I'm going to do is go to the sewing machine, fold it this way, fold it, fold it this way fold it this way right and then i'm trying to figure out then i'm going to fold it on top and then make a stitch at the very end here a very tiny stitch all the way at the end here and then the way it is now i'm just going to flip it this way on on one side right flip it this way on one side come back again fold it in and then make a stitch in between here right to give it this bow so the bow will come on one side and then on this one here i'm just going to fold it this way 
the same folding right and then just put it right in between where i'm going to make that stitch to give it the bow the bow effect i'm just going to give it a stitch here and then that way it goes this this row goes this way and then this row goes this way and this is what i'll have at the center and as as, as this side is getting to the as this one uh the, this rope here is getting to the back i'll put it into the zip and cut off the excess as this one is getting to the back i'll cut i'll put it into the zip and then cut off the excess so um the two ends here will, will both fit into the zipper so that's what i'm going to do now and that will be it this is what the dress looks like i finished up and then this is the pleat at the end uh let me flip it this way so you could see the full view so this is what it looks like this is the bow thing at the center and then this is the back here so i gave it just a little uh, v at the back and then you see this uh the belt thing had to be put into the zipper so that's what this looks like so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye